o no? It's a, it's a shooting from outside. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it felt good. My jumper felt good. Um, early on, I hit. I think I hit the first one. I shot. And uh, you know, anytime you can see the first one go through, I mean, it's a good feeling. So, um, you know, anytime I can get an open one, I'm gonna let it fly, regardless really of how it's, how my shot's going, just because I know how much work I put into it. So, um, they gave me a couple good ones. My teammates were finding me, making sure that you know they were hitting me in my spots, and so I was trying to pay them, pay them back for that. Right, yeah, for sure, for sure. And my, my teammates were making plays, you know, getting in gaps, kicking. Um, and so, you know, I was just trying to be in my spot, ready to suit for them. Yeah, I mean, anytime, you know, the, the game is, is closer, kind of in crunch time, uh, you know, I, I kind of feel like a, a magnet from my hands to the ball. I, you know, I want the ball in my hands. So, um, you know, my teammates trusting me. I, I'm going to keep bringing up my teammates. I mean, we had – it was a big-time team win today, and that's what we needed, I think, um, you know, as far as just trying to go into the right direction and, and building. So, uh, I mean, the game got close. I just tried to, you know, put us ahead. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I've, I've been playing for a long time, and whenever it gets to those times, I, I kind of feel it um, and just kind of want to be an outlet for my team a little bit. I want to be, you know, the guy that, I, that can be leaned on, be trusted. So I know that, you know, you have to be, have to be you know, brave in those decisions, in those times. You got to have some nuts and, and, you know, step up and go get the ball in those times. So I wanted to be that guy that sold my team that, you know, I was up for the challenge and, and make a play. Space. Uh, it's less here, but, uh, take a, take a bit, uh, those. Yeah, I mean it's it's all about adjusting. Um, you know the NBA now we're playing against the best athletes. Um, these are the best basketball players in the world. So, you know you have to be you have to be sharp with your decisions, and you know guys can get to get to you know passing lanes a lot easier than they could in college. So, being aware of that, being you know unpredictable and, and, you know, really reading the game for what it is. Those are things that are important. And those are things I'm going to continue to pick up as I get more comfortable in the league. You know, I'm sure it was used for his confidence um, offensively. But, you know, the thing about Killian is he, he never lets, you know, how he feels about his game, maybe offensively or anything, dictate how he is as a teammate or, you know, a defender, how he's talking and things like that. So, um, I mean, that's one thing that, that I love about him is the fact that he's he's not going to let anybody else feel him being down, you know, about missing a shot or anything like that. Um, and, you know, he, he wants to play to win. And, you know, he's going to he's gonna continue to grow just like me, just like the rest of our young team. Um, and so that's what we want. You know, I want him to to – you know, be out there in that fire with me. And, you know, we're battling out games right now because 82 game season, we got to be able to have that connection together. So seeing him gain some confidence out here, it's used for us. Huge game. Uh, I mean, he played with a lot of confidence. Um, he, He's played with a lot of confidence since we, you know, got to our, our practices to get ready for the summer league. And so, you know, having Seku go, gone at a wedding right now and not being able to have him, you know, DeMarco stepped into that into that hole and, and I mean, filled it. Um, played with confidence, like I said, filled, you know, all gaps, uh, spaced the floor really well and allowed himself to get some good, easy shots. And he was, you know, ready to suit him. So seeing the ball go through a couple of times for him was huge for us. Um, and from then on, he started, you know, getting his bag a little more and more. 
we were mic'd up the other day. You can see it. Here it is at the video continuing reaction to how you sound it. <laughs> yeah, my voice sounds funny on the mic. <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, yeah, I, talking to something that all my coaches growing up have instilled in me. Like, you know, every coach has always said, talk, talk. We need you to talk. So um, from a young age, I mean, even my dad, when I was playing football, he made sure that I was, you know, making sure everybody knew what they were doing, conducting. So. Um, it's a little different when you're stepping into a, a NBA team and you got to learn everybody in, you know, a few days and try to get that going. But, you know, I feel like if I just be myself, you know, other people are going have to have to, you know, just take me from me. And so, you know, I'm going to try to lead. I'm going to try to help out as much as I can. And they've been great as far as listening to me and helping me as well. It's my first time in the league. So it's, it's been a, a, you know, a balancing effect for sure. Um, I mean, more than anything, I want to show, you know, that I can translate right away um, and that I can be ready for an 82-game season. Uh, a lot of people talk about rookie wall and things like that. And so, you know, I want to be able to, to prepare myself to get through that um, and play a, play a strong season. You know, it's rookie year. Uh, you know, making the playoffs would be huge for us. So, you know, if we can get into the playoff bubble, playoff playing games, I feel like that's that's the main goal right now, and that's what you know. If we can get to that, I feel like that'll do a lot for me and my confidence. Got your elbow here. Uh, KG, got anything from the Yeah, I have two quick ones. Uh, first, we'll go to Leonardo Torres. Hi, Kate. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win, Kate. How important will be this summer league for your first NBA season? Summer league super important. Um, you know, I'm super happy I'm here. It's, it's crazy to be here, actually. Uh, it's still kind of surreal to me to be playing in these games. But, um, you know, it's super important. It's the, my first real taste of the NBA. And, you know, just, just getting accustomed to the speed and, and the coaching and things like that. So, uh, you know, I'm happy I get to experience this before, you know, going into the season. I know it was tough last year for rookies coming in, not having a summer league and just, you know, hopping straight into training camp. So. Definitely happy that we could be back here in summer league and have fans here and have the whole atmosphere back. Thank and you. we'll go to James Edwards, Athletic. Hey, Kay, James Edwards, The Athletic. Um, when we talk to rookies when they come in, a lot of them mention that three-point line being a hike, and it takes them a little bit to get used to. When you were going through your pre-draft process, was the three-point line, did it take a little bit to get adjusted to, or did you adapt pretty quickly? Uh, I mean, I saw a lot of NBA threes in, in college. Um, I tried to extend my range back as much as I could in college so that the, the FIBA line was really comfortable for me. So uh, I kind of had some comfort there. And then whenever it was time to transition to the NBA, then I had to, you know, try to take some more steps back from the NBA line so I could be comfortable from it. So uh, I feel like I've done a, a pretty good job preparing myself, my brother, my cousin, Ashton. I mean, both of them have, have you know, done a good job trying to get me ready for it. So, um, I mean, today I started pretty well. So. Just try to build on that and continue to get more consistent. Appreciate it. Okay, thanks for the time. We're all set. Appreciate it, all y'all, for sure. Tell us. I ain't going to expose him. Is he 6'6"? Yeah, I give him that. He's taller than 6'6". That's my guy. That's my guy. I ain't, ain't going to say he's smaller than that, but that's my guy. So I got oh, yeah. Man, mask on today. It's tough. You guys, any questions for Steve? So you, you guys have had the, the hot starts in each of the three games, and this one kind of slid at the end. How important was it to be able to make sure you hold this one out? Yeah, I think it was important for sure. Um, you know, like you said, we, we started off all three games uh, pretty well. Uh, I think it was just about sustaining it. And then uh, I think we did a good job for about three and a half quarters. And then at the end, yeah, kind of let it slip. But I think the important thing was to, to learn about how to keep poise. And even when they make a run, uh, to, to keep the poise and, and, and play well, execute on the stretch. So uh, I think those experiences we do need, you know, so we can be ready. Uh, 
Dude, you're a confident, confident player, confident shooter. So, uh, you know, we needed that. And, uh, you know, he's good. He can play all three levels. And, um, you know, it was, just, it, was, it was exciting to see him, uh, you know, just show what he can do. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, he does a great job. Uh, it's a great young leader. Uh, you can tell he has that, that leadership quality about him. So um, and it's natural. You know, he doesn't force it. So it's, it's great to be around for sure, especially as a young guy. Yep. Oh, it's, it's big time. You know, I think uh, he's a great player and, you know, he has a ball in his hands a lot. And for him to be able to create and, and make a shot on his own and uh, be able to play different roles, I think is, is vital. And we needed that down the stretch, you know, like you say, he had big, he had big shots. So I think it's going to be, uh, you know, very important for us for that in the future. Oh, it was great, man. He, he works on that every day. Um, seeing him doing that in practice and, um, you know, he's just, you know, he's a great, he just has a lot of confidence in himself too. And it was great to see that, you know, I, that's what he does for sure. Yeah, I think a lot of chemistry. Um, and we still got a couple more games, but uh, just to keep improving on it, and it is not worried about really the result, but just how we play and develop down the stretch, you know, for all our young guys. And, um, and I think it's going to be good for us in the season. Did you anything for us on Zoom? Yeah, I got one from uh, James Edwards, the athletic. Hey, Sadiq. Um, I think Jamarco, he's from D.C., and I think he played with the D.C. Premier AAU team as well. Were you familiar with him? Did you guys play together? I know he's a little bit older, I think. Yeah, uh, I didn't play with him. He's a little bit older than me, but uh, in college, he played at Georgetown, so I, he was in my conference uh, my, my two years, so I, I, I'm definitely familiar. Were you surprised by just his performance today, or has he been kind of showing glimpses of that throughout camp and even dating back to your guys' college days? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I saw him do that in college uh, against us, and uh, he's a great shooter, great scorer, and has a lot of length and uh, plays on both ends of the floor. So, you know, I, uh, you know, he was a, he was a rival uh, for sure during college. So it's good to see him, you know, and playing with him now for sure. Appreciate it, Sadiq. Sadiq, we're all set. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, good evening. Uh, I just loved his toughness, his IQ. Um, he's been a guy who's been ready for us each and every day in practice, and just wanted to get a just get a different look. Um, and I thought he came out really responded well with his energy, his effort, his consistency, and then his toughness. Yeah, in our in our practices and really with all of our bigs, that's a big part of our offense is being able to execute that DHO and with his wide frame, um, him just being under control, taking his time, taking really good angles, and then our guards have to help him out um, by having good setups and creating leads so that he can hand it off to them. There's a reason we drafted him at one, right? His ability to do multiple things, his ability to make tough shots, to want the ball, his leadership, both with his voice and with his actions, right? He prepares at a high level each and every day. His leadership is consistent. And when you see performances like this, you're not shocked because he works really hard at it on a consistent basis. I think as a whole, just with the entire team, we're looking to see each and every game who's improving, what matchups work, what lineups work. Um, and I think both Cade and the rest of our team, each game we're trying to get a feel for where they can help us win. He's a winner first and foremost. So whatever our team needs from him, um, he's looking to give that to us. Do you feel like he has 
sense of when he needs to make a shot. I think double to the left and three is the big one. Uh, run, stop, and three. You know, and, and one of them is really tough. So maybe the second run off the of dribble that way off or whatever. So they can board. Uh -huh. He feels it's his sense of that. <laughs> With K, the skill set that you may not see on the stat sheet is just his want to. Like, he wants to have the ball. He wants to be in position to make plays. And when you're in situations where you need him, he loves to step up to that challenge. And that's why we have him at one, because he's a guy who will continue to improve in those areas. But you know he does want the ball in those tough situations. I'm concerned about the turnovers. And, and at different points, just not being able to get it over half court at all. Like, are those just kind of things that Work out yeah, and to win at a high level and to, to take that next step as a team, we have to take care of the ball, especially those careless turnovers. And then as a whole, guys that haven't been in those late game situations, the experience of knowing when the time gets tough, it gets deeper in the fourth quarter, teams are going to be more physical. And I think that's a, just a part of experience as well. Um, but we definitely need to continue to improve in terms of taking care of the ball. I think we have a great group of guys that keep his confidence at a high level and keep encouraging him to take shots. He's another player, again, new to our group. Um, and I was really pleased with the way that he's prepared, regardless of how many minutes or how many shots. And then his preparation showed tonight. Anything for us on two? No, we're all set. Thanks, JD. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, guys.